Okay, here we have a Crosley model 178 battery operated five tube radio from around 1934. I got this radio off eBay uh, a year or two ago and I thought it was really, really cool looking, um, especially because of this, um, the way it comes out here along the edge. Uh, one of the reasons I, I really like this radio because it was weathered looking old and spooky and kind of mysterious uh, with the um, Finnish um, uh, doll and um, most of the finish coming off um, uh, this knob is not original I just put that there for now I don't think I would um, uh, refinish this radio, um, except for maybe this this uh, veneer that's coming loose here. Maybe put some new veneer on here. But the rest of it, I I, I think I would leave it because it it looks old and uh, rustic and mysterious and like it is like it has been on a farm where there was no hydro. I just love that weathered veneer. And I also liked it because it was a bit rusty inside, um, which gives it a uh, kind of a mysterious look, old. But it's not heavily rust, it's kind of, it's um, kind of a fine, fine rust. barely see model 178 here it's really hard to see um, this radio uses a 33 output tube um, a 32 tube uh, 30 a couple 34s I believe and a 1a6 oscillator uh, to I think this is a 1A6 here here's one of those um, early um, permanent magnet uh, speakers Here's the battery cable. Kind of a mess. And um, this is for the different uh, voltages the B, plus, the um, C negative, and the A battery 
filament voltages. Um, I will likely likely end up using um, one of my power supplies for the um, B plus voltage and um, using batteries, uh, rechargeable batteries for the uh, two volt um, filaments that these these uh, tubes run off. 